we have Alino, aka Upscale Hype. Second, we have Swaggy P, aka Swaggy Champ. Last but not least, we have JC, aka The Gangster. <laughs> That's what you said. You said call me the gangster. Y'all got a head. You said call me the gangster. Yo, what's good? I'm your host, Andy Ikpe, and welcome to the League Fits Playoff Edition, powered by 1800 Tequila. We're gonna run through the NBA playoff brackets, but instead of talking X's and O's, we're gonna break down fits. Blake Griffin. Why are you talking like you can't breathe right now? <laughs> this shot's fire. I'm talking everything down to the kicks to see who the league's true fashion champion is. Before we get started, let's introduce you to our judges real quick. First, we have Nick Young, AKA Swaggy P, AKA Swaggy Champ. He's a world champion baller and has one of the toughest brands around. He's not just a dude riding waves, he creates them. We also have Jordan Clarkson, a member of the first ever League Fits all drip team and the Cavs walking buckets. No stylist needed, JC makes a tunnel his runway. Last but not least, we have Alan O, a professional style coach. When it comes to the fashion game, some call him the Zen master. Today, we're gonna break down the first round of the League Fits playoffs. The initial matchups are the same as the NBA playoffs, but all the outcomes after that are gonna be determined by our judges. We've assigned each team with a drip representative who will rep his squad throughout the entire playoffs. The best fits from the regular season will be broken down by our panel of judges. I'm talking tops, bottoms, shoes, and jewelry as they'll pick the eventual style champ. You ready? Let's begin. The first matchup is DJ Wilson and Blake Griffin. Guys, how are we feeling about this look? Off the jump, DJ got it. Blake's is cool, but it's, you know, it's typical Blake. I like the camo with the jeans. I feel like it's real simple. I think DJ's look got, got a little like flair, pizzazz to it. It's, it's more like stylistic. I just love Blake Griffin, man. Can't do no wrong, you know? Everything about Blake to me is just magnificent, ain't it, Jay-Z? <laughs> That's a Blake fit, though. What you expect for Blake? Would you wear that out with Blake? You got jokes today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with Blake. Are you changing your voice like this so you sound like like you just like the swag guy or something, bro? Like, right. You know, like, trying to bless her. <laughs> I like the DJ Wilson fit, though. Big jacket, some sweats. This is something like I just rolled out of bed. I'm not going with DJ because that's like everybody's doing that. Socks inside the sweats. There's nothing original about that. They just like copy and paste. That's like an everyday There's thing. nothing original by any of these outfits, so they both trash. But <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go with Blake, cause I love Blake. So JC, who you going with? I'm gonna go uh, Wilson. That's a JC fit right so there. So it's yeah, two it's for Wilson and one for Blake. Wilson got it. So Wilson is gonna advance. Matchup number two, we have Scary Terry and we have Miles Turner. Go, who we going with? I'm going to go with Scary Terry. I don't really know what the Pacers do got on. He rapping for the team, though. He got a video game, too. He do? That's a, that look like a video game box. He must oh. be playing on the bus. That's too much yellow. Like, he could have kept the shirt simple. Yeah, yeah. Could have been white. just like a white T-shirt. Yeah. Uh, he didn't have to do the Crayola. I mean, he matching everything. Yeah, it's too much matching, like, matching. Even, even the accessories. Yeah. Even it's a video game console. Even yeah. that's matching. Everything yeah. matching. I'm going with Scary Terry. I like yeah. Scary Terry. I like Scary Terry. So too. we got Scary Terry, Scary Terry. I'm going to go with Miles just because. Wow. That's like one of your fits, though, kind of. Nah, I ain't one of my fits. <laughs> it's like, that's <laughs> yours, right? You gave him that outfit. <laughs> one of my I can't believe that. Said, but I mean, that fit. You, you styled that man like that? I'm just, I'm just, it needs, it needs to be balanced. I think, I think Miles, if I saw that, I'd be like, man, he, he really so tried it. like a shot at all. He really the tried it. The fit would be stuff. good without the shoes and the shirt. Terry's look is predictable. I would have, you know. Yeah, it is, but that's what I was talking about with the jacket. But his is a puffier jacket than that last DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know what type of jacket that was. At least you could identify that jacket as. Nah, like, Terry got it. It's yeah. obvious. Terry got so, it. So, Terry, Terry, Terry. Terry all the way. Scary Terry is advancing. Our next matchup goes to Serge Ibaka and AG. Swaggy, what are we talking about? This is no, like- It ain't the same <laughs> shirt. No, it ain't look, the same shirt. It's like a skirt kind of thing. Yeah, this is like people's stylists is just pick anything for these guys. Serge normally do better than this. Like, 
Man, I'm, Surge, you're not no feeling the, do better than this. You're not feeling the Greg Lauren? I'm going to mess with Surge because I know Surge got more in Arsenal. In Arsenal, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to pick Surge. Okay. okay. I'm going yeah. Surge. It, it had to be Cove. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Out there yeah. Yeah. So we're going to pull that Surge, out. Surge, Surge. JC, what you thinking? Yeah, I'm going to go Surge too. Yeah, because wow. uh, cause, cause Gordon's jacket looked too small. So. <laughs> and then, then what, he got like a drawstring at the bottom? Yeah. Damn. It's not at least at least Serge, not, I know yeah. that it's it's, it's yeah. freezing over there. Yeah. So sometimes you just hey, I just need to be warm. Hold on though, dude. You got a skirt on though. <laughs> oh, nah, that's, 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 that's a one piece. That's a that's a one piece. piece. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the brand is Greg Lyon. Hey, you yeah. wore a skirt before though. I have wore a skirt. Yeah, a skirt before. Dang. The six is advancing. Our next matchup is Ben Simmons of the Sixers and D'Angelo Russell of the Brooklyn Nets. <laughs> JC. <laughs> Where we at with it? That's a that's a for sure. That's a uh, damn. Oh, that's a nice fit by Ben, though. D-Lo, he went hard on this fit <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I'm being serious though. They both did all right. Which one is more swaggy? Yeah, which one is more which, swaggy? Which one is more swaggy? Uh, to me, not to be like on no hate and stuff, but um, I really like Ben fit. I think both of them was all right, but. For me, I know my style and... That's, 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 uh, a, that's a swaggy yeah, thing, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna go with Ben. I like the trousers. I like colorful tr bottoms, so I think that works for me. Man, I forgot. Um, <laughs> I forgot. That's both of us, right? Both of us. I forgot Ben, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go with Ben, of course. You going Ben? Yeah, Ben is like the ladies' man. Ben? <laughs> ben? I love Australians, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? JC, we already know who won, but JC, who you got? He had a good game against him, though. He was going crazy, blowing kisses and stuff. <laughs> Who's blowing kisses at that game? <laughs> ben Simmons has advanced. Now we move to the Western Conference. We're looking at Jared Vanderbilt for the Nuggets and DeMar DeRozan, AKA the Cozy King for the Spurs. Mmm. Oh, that's hard though. I'm, I'm, I'm going Rosen on this one. I'm yeah. going with DeMar. Yeah, DeMar for sure. And, and, and I'm being biased, because that's like the homie, little homie, so. Uh, yeah, Rosen snap. Yeah, I'm going to go with DeMar for sure. I like the, like it fits his demeanor. Yeah. Like it's yeah. like a LA for sure fit, right? That's an off white. Uh, yeah. 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 And then what do y'all figure out? Yeah, yeah the essentials. I'm really not used to seeing DeMar dress, so that's why I'm like, dang, I like this for DeMar. This that's not, this, that's not, it's not a JC fit, though. Yeah, yeah for sure. 100%. That's, 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 that's you all day right yeah, there. Yeah, sweats. Got, you got it you know, hanging off the shoulders a little bit. No, nah, but I like it, though. I like the all red, the red underneath with the little, the white and, white and black lumberjack. Cozy Fam wins again. DeMar DeRozan advances. Our next matchup is the Triple Double King himself, Russell Westbrook versus Damian Lillard. I ain't gonna lie, that's like one of the best dang fits I've seen yeah. anywhere. And it's like chill. For me, I gotta go with Russ, you know. Russ, Russ done put in that work. Yeah, he done put in that he work. It's like work. he shouldn't be in this. But I, I'm not feeling the hat though. Yeah, nah, that's the only thing. Yeah, yeah I'm not feeling the hat. hat on at all. Russ, I mean, Russ shouldn't even be in this category right now. Yeah, so gonna... Russ should just go straight to the chip? He yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Dame's cool is just too simple. I think Russ, uh, just with the, I think that's a Gucci shirt. They got Those off white shirts? Yeah, but it's different. It's on um, something else on the like, inside. He must have worn some socks or something. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Russell's fit. Okay. Um, Dame, yeah, no, I don't know about the hat, though. Yeah, I don't, I'm not feeling the hat, but Dame tried. I think it's, it's cool. I think he he's he's up with the tie-dye. Yeah. The tie-dye of the season, tie-dye trend. Yeah. So I rock with that, but Russ, Russ got this. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Russell too. The triple double king advances. Our next matchup is Shea Alexander versus Boogie Cousins. Allen, what you thinking about this? This is actually a tough one. I like Boogie's sweater. I like how he kind of, you know, brought in some vibes from the sneakers or into the sweater. So I like that. The Coogee and the Gucci? Yeah, I like that. I like how he just kind of like low key did that. That's, that's cool. Even though he kind of started matching too much with the, with the beanie. But Shay, I'm a sucker for Prince, man. So he got me with the Prince. I think the Prince is dope. Shay's still playing right now, so I'm gonna go with Shay. Boogie, don't kill me or beat me up if you see this, but <laughs> I'm going with Shay all day. I just like Shay's style. Uh, rookie up and coming. I think he's got a, a lot of potential in dressing, and it's gonna be all right. I'm going with Shay. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go with Shay too. <laughs> yeah, like you off the jump. No, man, he, got, he, got, he came in the league. He was, he yeah, was ready. Yeah, he came in ready. Shay Alexander advances. Our next matchup is the sneaker king himself, PJ Tucker versus Dad Drip himself, Joe Ingles. To me, I don't feel like Ingles is the, the best dress on that team, even though it's hard to pick a best dress on a Utah team. I think Shots it, fired. Kyle, Kyle Corbett got the best swag. I'll oh, go with oh, Mitchell. Oh, oh. Over the game. I'll go with Spider Mitch, even though he wear a lot of like Adidas uh, stuff, but Mitchell Mitchell be looking like he's he's still in high school. He do, but who would you pick? Who could you I'll pick? Call him. I'll, I'll pick call him um, sure. no. Rubio, he got that Italian, but he's not nah, Italian. He got for sure he coming dressed yeah, like uh, he got like that, Yeah, he got like that sharp, like a mafia look like. Yeah, but PJ, PJ on this one, I'm giving that PJ. Yeah, yeah. for sure. It's, it's not even a contest. Not even, it's no, not contest. Even a question. no question about it. The sneaker champ advances. That's a wrap for the first edition of League Fits Playoffs, powered by 1800 Tequila. We'll be back soon. Hit League Fits on the gram and stay tuned for the next episode, powered by 1800 Tequila.